Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are just backing out of one of the homes at Alamogordo's finest adult gated community park model homes called Centennial Village. It's on 2118 North Florida Avenue, Alamogordo, and their phone number is 575-404-1888. And these are all about 400 square feet, and they've got one unit available that is $55,000 approximately, and if you wait to get a new one, they're going to be $80,000. they got a few vacant spots that she's going to fill with some new homes. I've been inside tiny homes before. Y'all have seen them before. So we're going to drive through. It's a really neat place, guys. I mean, every home comes with a carport and a little storage building. And that's all included in the price. And for then your rent, you know, the, the unit, your bill is going to cost you $55,000 and up. And then you're going to have to pay $350 a month, which includes water, sewer, and trash. And, of course, all the exterior maintenance not your building but the quote yard which is none because they don't use there's not any there's a few plants but not much grass and you you can water your own trees and stuff so for 350 a month after you've bought the building you have a home and they're actually pretty nice it's a clean area as you can see and they're still developing it as you can see too when I make this turn but these are really this is really nice I mean I, these tiny home communities are really going to be the thing of the future, I guarantee you. Now I'm going to have to turn the phone a little bit here, and I hope I don't accidentally cut it off, because I'll let you see what's happening here on this side as we drive along here. Those are, maybe I did it too much. Let's go right there. Okay, let's go. Anyway, so these are all tiny homes. Again, they're like 399 square feet, and uh, yeah, they're really nice, but here, let me give you a few stats on New Mexico, and I do check stats, okay? Statistics. And uh, the population of the entire state of New Mexico is 2.1 million people. That's it. It. I-T. However, Albuquerque, New Mexico, the largest city by far, uh, takes up about half of that. Okay, I think uh, Albuquerque is close to three or 400,000 maybe, or maybe half a million. I'm not sure, but it's, it's big. And so that's where all your population is. And so what you've got is an area in New Mexico, very large, that is very lightly uh, populated, okay? And these tiny homes uh, are really neat. And the reason it's going to be growing here as well as other areas, or that, uh, those small homes, is because uh, the population of New Mexico, the birth rate, has actually declined, okay? The, the birth rates in the last few years have declined by like 19%. And so what they've got is an aging population like me. I'm old. I'm 76. Well, I'm not that old. I'm just old. You know what I mean? But anyway, we've just leaving the community. Again, it's called uh, Centennial Village. You can go to www.centennialvillage.com. And it's in Alamogordo, New Mexico. And you can, they have some uh, sites available that don't have homes on them, okay? And uh, so you, but, but because of the lumber shortages and other things, the prices have increased from like 50000 to 80000 Hello, you know what I mean? But they, uh, they, they have still kept the rents. Uh, a reasonably low. Let me straighten that just a touch. And uh, yeah, and another thing I asked about was, you know, one of the things that I fear, uh, and I think about other people also, is you get into these places where, you know, the, the rent starts off set, or, or lot rent starts off at 350 a month. Well, then two years later, uh, the lot rent is 450 you know, or whatever. You know, they can gouge you a little bit if they choose. But anyway, they have a, something in their contract that limits the increase to something like 2% or $5 a month uh, or whatever they came up with. It's, it's pretty reasonable. And uh, so, but again, for those of you that might be interested in tiny homes, that's why I did this video because I am interested in tiny homes, but I don't want to pay. See, what I would like to do is they, and they have these in the Valley of Texas, 
and a lot of snowbirds uh, buy them. Uh, they have uh, uh, 55 and up communities where you can actually buy and own your RV lot, okay? And, uh, and, and now there's uh, most of them lease them. Most of, most, uh, of those uh, over 55 communities lease those lots. So you'll have to ask and check if you ever decide to do that. But there are a few, not many, but a few where you actually get a deed to your lot. Is that better than a lease? Hell yeah. <laughs> to me it is. Why? Because you own the thing. You know what I mean? I mean, uh, you don't have to worry about price increases or whatever. It's your deal. I, naturally, I turned right into the sun. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Did y'all want to see the sun? But having said that, so you guys like me, and I'm looking, I'm looking, because see, I'm still, you know, I mean, as far as building a place in Lano, Texas, that, that's, that's kind of, you know, maybe this, maybe that. I haven't got a price on it yet or anything, so I'm just kind of shooting in the dark on the thing. And what street, I don't even know what street I'm on here, but it's pretty dry, it looks like. And unfortunately, it just happens to be right into the sun. So, but it will turn out of it maybe in the next year or so. What road is this? Oh, this may be, this may be good. I don't know where it is. Well, <laughs> we're going to find out. But, so, uh, what else can I tell you? Yeah, finding a place, you know, at, again, I'm 76, and I'm looking for something that's, the, the price is kind of semi-fixed. You know what I mean? I don't want to be in a situation where I get priced out of my own home uh, by someone else, and that could happen. So when you're renting, uh, actually, uh, I don't even like that. Okay, this is called Fairgrounds Road. Oh, I know this runs up and hits. I don't know. It does something. But uh, the phone's directly in the sunlight. You know that ain't gonna last long. So I better get to ending this video. But yeah, but if you're looking for a, a place to live inexpensively, and you know, you got to look at uh, states uh, that the population growth is not uh, high. Why? Because that's, what's dri that's what drives prices up, is demand. Now, you, like Texas, for example, that, that, that's not going to be an inexpensive place to live. It's not now. You know, when, whenever you got an uh, uh, influx of buyers on houses uh, by the thousands, uh, then uh, you know you, you know, got to know right away that uh, prices of homes are going to go up. So anyway, let me turn right here on Skinny, and, uh, and then I'll end the video. Okay, and naturally it's right on a hill here. The guy coming over here on a Maserati going about 150. Anyway, so we got out of the sun, but we'll end the video anyway. This is Scenic Drive. I did a video that I posted earlier or whenever on this drive, so I'll end this. But again, yeah, for those of you that are interested in adult gated communities, you know, over 55, well, that's not really an over 55 community. They do. They've kind of mixed it up a little bit. But uh, it's an economical way to live if... The best way to do those over 55 communities, if you can, and there are a few of them, where you can actually own your lot and have it deeded. Where you, it's like a regular home, you know what I mean? But having said that, guys, enjoy your day, enjoy your life. Thumbs up, where's thumb, 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 thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, buy, buy, buy anything you want anytime. But if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Because it doesn't cost you a penny. Drink plenty of water, stretch, walk. And keep your health. And, uh, you know, as far as finding your home, uh, just like an old bull weevil years ago, that song, the old bull weevil was just always looking for a home. But, you know, I have my home. See, I keep forgetting that my home is with me all the time. My full-time RV, you know. Hello. Wake up, Rusty. <laughs> you have a home. Anyway, adios, amigos. Bye-bye.